when I say go, you're going to sprint as fast as you can over to the DS and listen to what he's got to say. Yes, off. Get down there as fast and efficiently as possible. Go! Let's go! Hurry up! We have a life depending on you right now. Let's go! Experiencing the gas chamber for the first time, it's horrendous. Behind you is a building, OK? Five minutes ago, an officer was taken in there. It's presumed there's gas or something in there. Do not panic. Get in there as soon as you can and save his life. Ready? Get in. Go! The enemy would not hesitate to use chemicals or gas, so we have to be prepared for it. And I think oh, it's going to be moved. You're less than it. Tell me what the mission is, and then you're going to carry out three nothing. Boom! <coughs> the gas takes control of everything. All your airways, your sinuses, your eyes. It starts to sting, burn. You cannot breathe. It's like being suffocated. Relax. Relax. Don't touch your face or your eyes. Right. Up the hill. Away you go. To the DS. Let's go. Good effort. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Keep moving. Keep moving. Pretty rough for him, but he fucking did well. Yeah, he did. Impressive. That's it. That's your body purging it. Good. I'm going to give you five minutes to stand here to recover. Fuck, that's awful. Good effort. Let's go! Time is against us! You need to save his life! Quickly, come on! I remember the first time I was exposed to CS gas. Hurry up! I just went into complete panic. Get the left What is your mission? What is your mission? Save the gas, Ollie. I'm not worried. My eyes were like the size of dinner plates, and all I wanted to do was find a way out of the building. <laughs> what is your mission? You just save the... <laughs> It was the most uncomfortable thing I've probably ever done. <laughs> it was fucking horrible, and they got outside and puked everywhere. Right, come to me, come to me. Relax, control your breathing. Relax. Relax, keep your head up. It's just your body's natural reaction. Relax. Slowly open your eyes. Did everyone manage to get them free? No. I was nowhere near it. <coughs> Weren't you? That was my worst nightmare. I don't like that tight space. It's terrible. Take this path down there, watch your footing, and get to the DS. Is that understood? Yes. Stand by. Oh, fuck. You've got a Eureka to do this. Go. Move! Move! Come on! Come on! After being removed from the task this morning, number three, Eureka, faces her first test. What I want you to do is fit your respirator. Stick your respirator on. I definitely have issues believing in myself. I need you to relax and calm down. But at some point in my life, I must have had some mental resilience. So you've got one minute to save him. Do not panic. So yeah, I want to be able to come away and go, you still can do mad shit. Go on, get in there. Go in there, go in there. Stand there, stand there. When I say go, tell me your mission and then save the lesson. Go! What is your mission? Uh, to save. OK. Stop. Stealing! Uh. I'm sorry. Look at the signs. Do not panic. Uh. 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 Well done. Good effort. Uh. Uh. This way. Over to me. Over to uh. me. Over to me. Three. Uh. Listen. Listen. Face me. Don't touch your face or your eyes. That's it, relax. Just relax. Relax. Just keep your head up. Good effort, number three. Good effort. So far, the best one. Mm, interesting, though. Yeah, she was good, mate. Really calm. Yeah, good effort. Well done. Stand there, recover for five minutes, and I'll put you back in the group. Take this time now to recover. Well done. Good effort. Come on, number one. Go. Move. Move. Let's go, number one. Faster. Last to go. Number one, Kerry Katona. I am determined. If I've got something in my head that I want to do, I'll be determined to do it. Yeah. Stay in control. Do not panic. You ready? Are you ready? Here you go. But I've always said I've got a little hijacker who takes over the positive parts and tells you you're not good enough and you can't do this. And I've just got to slap him silly and say, piss off. <laughs> I can do this. When I say go, you're going to remove your respirator completely. Do not panic. 
Panicking. No, she's panicking. What are you doing? Where are you going? Where are you going? Please. Right on your knees. On your knees. Do not touch your face or your eyes. Relax. Listen to me. Listen. Relax. Right, relax. Listen, relax. Take charge of your body. Relax. Look up. Slowly open your eyes, look at me. Open your eyes, look at me. Right, for the purpose of this exercise, you will wrestle your opponent out of this ring. The recruits will now be pitted against each other in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Right, take your bottles off, take your fleeces off. Right, number 11 over there. Number eight. Oh, shit. Sometimes you don't get to choose your opponent. Strength, big man. Number 11, Vicky, is wrestling 18 stone Paralympic athlete. Number eight, Alad. After I achieved everything I wanted to achieve in para sport, I thought, right, let's chase down the able bodies, guys. Even though I have only got one functional leg, I aspire to be anyone with two legs. Right, go on then, let's see it. Right, that'll do. Stop. Good effort, eight. Good effort, 11. Good effort. Right, number six on the edge there. Former Olympic rower James. Right, number four there. Has been chosen to fight self-appointed strongest recruit, Jake. I'm not about confrontation, because I don't really want to be in pain, to be honest. The only pain that I've really been in is pain of losing somebody close to me. If I can get through that, then I can get through anything. Let's see what you're made of. Go on, then, go. Go on, then, let's see some aggression. Take him out. Fully out of the ring. Fully out. Go on, number six. Come on, pick him up. Get him off. Right, stop. Well done. Good effort. Number four, Jake, wins the bout. Good fun, I say. Go on, number two, there you go. There you go. When you're going into combat, you don't have the luxury of choosing who your opponent is or how many of them there are. You've just got to deal with what's in front of you. I've been on an operation before where we were outnumbered six to one. Pick him up and fling you out! We want to see if people have got the courage and determination to throw everything at another person to get a job done. Twelve, you're there. Rest of you over here. Having fought one-on-one, -on -one, they must now face each other in a group battle. Start using your brains on this one. Every recruit for themselves. Right, let's go! Come on, then! Some of these celebrities would have never been in a fight in their lives. And when we expose them to that brutality, Get up, number five. we want to see not only if they can take it, but if they can give it. To see if they can commit to conflict.